Hello, I'm Leonard Maltin. Welcome to the first DVD devoted to Walt Disney's most explosive character, Donald Duck. And since we're starting out with Donald's first screen appearance in 1934, I think it's worth a moment or two to put him into context. Mickey Mouse was a sensational success for Walt Disney, but as Mickey grew more and more popular, it became a challenge to find story and gag material for his cartoons. Parents began to object whenever Mickey did anything rude or crude. And let's face it, in his early cartoons, Mickey was not a model of exemplary behavior. Donald was an innovative character because he was not only allowed to lose his temper, it was his dominant personality trait. So people expected it and enjoyed it too. He provided such a contrast to Mickey and good-natured Goofy that he became the studio's number one scene stealer. And it wasn't long before he was headlining a cartoon series all his own. And yet, like so many great careers, Donald's came about by chance. When Walt heard a young man named Clarence Nash recite Mary Had a Little Lamb in that peculiarly funny voice, he hired him on the spot to provide the voice for a disruptive duck in a Mickey Mouse cartoon called Orphan's Benefit and a lazy farmyard character in the silly symphony fable, The Wise Little Hen. There was no thought that this bombastic character would become an overnight star. This disc covers the first portion of Donald's starring film career through 1939. And even in this short span of time, you'll see some changes in his design as he becomes less angular, more rounded and appealing. You'll also see the first appearance of his girlfriend in Don Donald, although she doesn't become the Daisy Duck we know and love until a later cartoon on disc two. But you will get to meet Huey, Dewey, and Louie for the first time in the 1938 cartoon, Donald's Nephews. Remember that during this period, Donald was... On four caps we set our traps for walrus, bear, and seal. We fill the zoo with caribou. Depends on how we feel. Oh, we bring them back alive. We bring them back alive. We don't know why we catch them, but we bring them back alive. <laughs> Oh, 
Buongiorno. 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 Per caso qualcuno è andato di là? È andato, è di, andato là. di là. Grazie. Grazie. Grazie.
li riportiamo vivi. da golf truccate per giocare mille scherzetti. Tieni, ecco la mazza, zio Paperino. Siamo qua. Che aspetta, sono un campo epico. Attenzione. Ragazzi, che campo perfetto. Questo, questo. Ma cosa? Insomma, basta scherzo! Tieni, prova di nuovo con questa, zio Paperino! Grazie, grazie, grazie! Ti voglio un po' di roba! Attenzione! Oh, 
Questo può servire, zio Paperino. When we look at cartoons from the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, we often see gags involving guns and gunplay. Some modern day viewers are troubled by this, and that's understandable, though they were never meant to be taken as encouragement to use firearms. But happy to report, in Donald's Penguin, no harm is done to Duck or Penguin, except when Donald chooses to spank his new pet. Come on, 
Carrot Wong! Carrot Wong! 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 Wong!